In South Africa, these Zulu people are saying goodbye to their king. King Goodwill Zwelithini died in March. Zwelithini was the Zulu leader for more than 50 years. This is longer than any other king in Zulu history. Six days after his death, there was a memorial service for Zwelithini. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa gave a speech. It is a difficult day because a huge tree has fallen. Our nation is indeed in mourning. Zulu kings don't have much power in South Africa, but they are cultural leaders. Zwelithini brought back old Zulu traditions. This helped Zulus to connect with their culture. It is important to me because that is where I found my, my identity as a Zulu woman. This is where I've learned about my culture. It's where I also tackled my own personal issues about like uh, such as body image issues, low self-esteem, this is where I conquered all that because when you hear, nobody cares about your body size, your body shape. The next king would normally be Zwelithini's oldest son, but he was killed last November. Now the royal family will select the next king from Zwelithini's other children. The process could last two years. President Ramaphosa spoke of South Africa's sadness at the king's death. He said the country was thinking of the Zulu people. On behalf of the people of South Africa, I express my deepest condolences to the royal family and to the Zulu nation on this profound loss. <laughs>